Yeah, I did cut my guys here. Um, it's the I think the there's 16 free DLCs with this game. I think the second DLC pack um, gives you like a hair and beard um, DLC package that you can use at the at the barber shop. So I kind of give them a different look. And yeah, you get a ton of good armor and equipment by um, not even by doing the side quest. To be honest, it's, it's by just exploring and, and finding um, bandits and, and bandits, abandoned sites, that kind of thing. This is where I've got most of my stuff from. So definitely is worth it, and obviously you get a ton of the cat ton of cash from it too. The whole CD is gonna bother me if I don't clear all these other symbols out. Sewer. Dijkstra, Dijkstra, come here. Dijkstra, come here. Yeah, I wanted to give him a different look. Go Looks like a bit of a it. moron right now, but yeah, wrong part. These look different. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen, who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let, let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heights, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel, who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old coat's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the breaking. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him. No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. You, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Commanding. Alright, off to Henkel's. Henkel, Henkel. Yeah, I changed his haircut, except I don't. I can't remember where the, uh, the barbershops are in this particular area. And not all of them show up on the mini map, so. I don't think I used any potions or anything.
I don't think the the barbers are different. No, I think if you use the if you get the download the first DLC pack, you get um like a bunch of different shave, um like mustache and beard options as well as haircut options. The only two that I met, I know there's one in Oxenford and there's one here. But I think just to keep the mini map relatively clean, because a lot of them don't don't appear on your mini map until you, you get nearby them. It could be a glitch, yeah. Solve the riddle from the mysterious snow, okay. Um, what was the note? I don't remember what the note was. I pick it up and read it again? No? Oh, did I just mess up? Was I supposed to listen to what he was saying? Oh. I guess I put the... Put it in there? Does that... Convenient. A little bit too easy, to be honest. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion has gold and iced. Siri, Nenge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. About time this quest gave us some action. Um, it's not an expansion, it's just like a free um, DLC pack. The first one was a... Um, Why burn oil? I missed what you said. The first one was a um, armor set, like a Temerian armor set. Which is probably Instructions on how to not all that bomb. useful. Signed by one Kalkstein. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Sugar by one calc stain, lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium. Looks like they made the bomb here. The first one was an armor set, and the second one was the beards and haircuts. Extra. Tris. Uh oh. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Tris. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb, I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. And I recover my treasure. I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my bush there was. Have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bother Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menga. Well, well, Marigold. Your 
coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Oh. Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle, maidens who are half fish, but you'll never convince me that such a thing is a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. You didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something, and that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But, but ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Mm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, which hunters quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Look, you hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. We need to fight things. Thought you'd correct him. This quest is dragging. We, you know. You could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But, but we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to cover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. Alright, see you then. Thanks. Aren't the Eternal Fire hunting sorceresses and witches? She wants to meet by one of their churches? Is that really wise? Um... You need to sell- yeah, I definitely need to sell some stuff. Big time. I've really been focusing on selling. <laughs> A lot of my um, equipment stuff, my um, a lot of this stuff, like extra swords and, and armor and whatnot. That's what's gotten me a lot of money. The rest of it, I've kind of held on to. And no, you didn't miss much content-wise. I think I've already been to the shopkeeper before, so I'm going to skip him. Go, go. Hmm. 
And let's see where this goes. Glad you're here. Listen. Took a look at the building, and it does not look good. You mean it can use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Manga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. And put them on me. What? Am I explaining what this is all about? Pink. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Manga personally. No way. Too, too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No, no such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. You really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will and end in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in and put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's come, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Yeah. Stop. I don't think anyone would. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Oh yeah, what about the actual gold? Because you were meant to come here to steal that fella's gold back, weren't we? Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... What? Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. I can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. Alright? Mm -hmm. Alright. It's kind of a... hardcore sacrifice for me, isn't it? who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Call me then. Is this manga? What the hell is on your face? Well, well. Triss Marigold. You giving up drowners for sorceresses? He's better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches? They murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. You're done jesting, Marigold. For the good. Put her in a cell. Shit, what do I do? Shit, I don't know what to do. Not, not so fast. fast. I hand her over to Minga himself, or not at all. I reckon we don't know what to do with this witch. Let go, you Bastard! Vulgar tongues got no place being in such a pretty house. 
I guess we'll have to rip it out. You're not gonna rip her tongue out. Cause why? Cause this. Oh shit. I didn't know I was gonna lead a combat. That wasn't my intention there. Did you rock in them with those little bombs? I guess we are fighting our way through this mess. And if that's the case, I probably do not need that antidote. So sloppy at times in this game. Let's get up the stairs, buddy. You can do it. Here we go. been interesting to see how this played out without having to fight all these guys. I didn't think it was going to play like that. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body, you search the room. I'd start with the desk. I got a letter. Let's read that. Let's rob him first and then we'll read that.
If I find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah. Strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. That he does. That letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. And everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address. Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning the glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. Alright. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. We have played that more. Just not by way of the main gate. More discreetly. I wonder if that we would have retrieved the gold. Find a way out. Find a way out of the outpost. These windows are not a way out. Is it underneath us, I guess? Miss something upstairs? Overburdened. Uh oh. Just for the sake of this quest. Let's dump a few things. I know we're gonna lose money, but money's not too big of an issue right now. I'll do it. How the hell do I get out of here? I must have missed something. Hello. Easy. I don't know how he missed that the first time. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. I've agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Now... Can I use this as a way out?
Guess we can. Nice. Alright, I guess we'll leave it there. I will go speak to Dijkstra in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm loving this game. Um, I will see you guys later.